Okay, so my last video about Gwyneth Paltrow's Twitter controversy has gotten a lot of views and a lot of reactions. And I want to follow up on some of that conversation. Because even though a racially tinged celebrity tweet is not really worth stressing, the larger issues around it are complicated and worth talking about. So I want to follow up on the conversation. But since there's a lot more to follow up on than I can fit in one video, today I just want to touch on one of the most common responses, which is the tried and true argument. And by tried and true, I mean people keep trying it even though it's untrue argument that when it comes to that word you can't have one rule for black people and another rule for everybody else because that's a double standard and I don't want to dwell on this too long I just want to say just no no that is not any kind of unfair double standard what that is is just the basics of human communication that's how language works whenever we speak with each other the meaning and impact of our words and the boundaries around them are always determined in part by the relationships involved. Our respective relationships with the subject matter and our relationships with each other. And that might sound like a big unwieldy bunch of words, but in most aspects of our life we totally understand that and we take it for granted. I'm pretty sure you know that if I'm sitting at the bar with my date and I put my arm around them and call them honey, it usually won't be awkward, but if you come up to the bar and put your arm around my date and call them honey, it usually will be awkward. I mean, I don't really ever call people honey or go on dates, but speaking theoretically, every Everybody knows that that's the social norm and nobody thinks that's a double standard because we understand that the relationships involved are different so we're supposed to judge it differently. And that is just as true for conversations involving that word as it is for every other conversation. This really isn't complicated. Exactly what boundaries are necessitated by that difference can be debatable but the fact that those relationships are different is not debatable. Black people, the people about whom that word has been used for centuries have one particular kind of relationship with it. Everybody else has a different relationship with it. And it's only fair and natural to do the same thing with this conversation that we do with every other conversation and judge it differently when there are different relationships involved. And that's it. That's the whole video. There's nothing else to say. That's it. No. There are many aspects of our history and relationship with that word that are complicated. There are a lot of gray areas, but this is not one of them. The rule that says black people using that word amongst themselves is one thing and anyone else using it is a different thing is not a double standard. What that is, is a standard. It's doing what a standard is supposed to do. So can we please put that argument to bed and bury it next to asking why there's no white history month? Because no, just no.